Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on method of variation of parameters. Given problem is solve the differential equation d square minus 2d plus 2 times of y is equal to e to the power of x into tan x by the method of variation of parameters. Friends, you see they are given in the operator form. You see first I am writing the given problem t square minus 2d plus 2 into y is equal to e to the power of x into tan x. Now the coefficient of d square is in d square is 1 only. So standard form of a second order linear differential equation for the method of variation of parameters. Now you can write this as f of d into y is equal to r of x form because the standard form we are denoting with the d square y by dx square plus p of x into dy by dx plus q of x into y is equal to r of x form. So, this is the second order differential equation with the standard form for the method of variation of parameters. d square y by dx square quotient is 1. Here also you have 1. So, now you can say this is in the form of f of d into y is equal to r of x where r of x is equal to e to the power of x into tan x. So, what is the general solution for this higher order differential equation? We have y of x is equal to complementary function plus a particular integral. General, uh, generally, complementary function for a general method, shortcut method and this variation of parameter as it is. But the particular integral case will be dependent on the complementary function. So, in the step 1, I am finding the complementary function. To find the complementary function, we have to take r of x is equal to 0. So, let y is equal to e power mx be a solution of f of d into y is equal to 0. Here r of x is we are taken at 0. Then we will have axillary equation f of m is equal to 0. Axillary equation f of m is equal to 0. That is m square minus 2m plus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have to find out the roots for this. So how to find the roots here you have? 2 only. So, better to go for minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, m is equal to minus b means 2 plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, 4 into a into c 8 by 2 into 1. So, this is 2 plus or minus this is minus 4 I can write 2 root 2 minus 1 by 2. So, 1 plus or minus root of minus 1 I can write i. So, the roots of m are here complex. Whenever the roots are a plus r minus b i form, then we will write the complementary function is e power a x into c 1 cos b x plus c 2 sin b x. What is the a here? a is a real part and what is b? Imaged part. Imaged part is nothing but i quotient that is here b is equal to 1. Substitute a b values in the complementary function then you will have e to the power of 1 into x into c 1 cos x plus c2 1 into x means c1 sin x. So, now you compare this complementary function. Okay, this is a complementary function where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant. Now, in the step 2, we are going for the particular integral. Friends, in the variation of parameter method, particular integral will be dependent on the complementary function only. So, generally you see, this complementary function we have to compare with c1 u of x plus c2 v of x where u of x is nothing but c1 quotient. What is the c1 quotient here you have? Cosine x. But outside e power x is there. So, u is equal to e power x into cos x. And v is also c2 into e power x. So, e power x into sin x. Don't forget to write e power x. Otherwise, this problem will be wrong. Right. Now, particular integral is here in this case you have whenever cf is c1 u of x plus c2 v of x particular integral is a of x into u of x plus b of x into v of x. So, do you know u of x? Yes, write down. a of x into u of x means e power x into cos x. b of x means what? b of x is here we have. Don't know. b of x is b of x. v of x means e power x into sin x. So, friends, in the particular integral, we need to find out the a of x and b of x value. How we can find it means we have a formula. Which formulas we have? You see, a of x is equal to, we have minus integral vr dx by w of x. And uh, 
v of x is equal to integral u r dx by w of x. Okay, where w of x is called Ronskian of u comma v that is u determinant of u v u dash and uh, u dash and uh, v dash. Okay, now we will find out the w of x. Already you know v of x. V of x is this one and r of x is this one. R of x is uh, nothing but in the given problem r of x we have that is e power x into tan x and w of x now we have to find out. If you are substituted in a of x we will get a uh, a of x and uh, if you are substituted here we will get b of x this a of x value b of x value we will put in particular integral then the general solution is cf plus pi so we are doing now ranskian now w of x is equal to u, determinant of u v u dash v dash so what is the u you have e power x into cos x v is equal to e power x into sin x now u dash u dash is nothing but first term into this is first term if you consider cos x into uh, e power x derivative is e power x next second term e power x if you consider cos x derivative is what minus sin x that's it next first term into second term first term into e power x into cos x minus so, sin, uh, sin x into e power x this is you see in this case uh, you will have this is sin x into e power x derivative is e power x plus uh, e power x into sin x derivative is cos x. So, this is a v dash. Now, you simplify this. What I can take common here? e power x is there. Here e power x, e power x, e power x. So, I can take e power x is common in the row, first row and second row. So, you will have e power to x. Now, if you simplify this, cos x into sin x is nothing but cos x into sin x plus cos x into cos x is cos square x minus next. You see sin x into cos x. Sin x into cos x next to minus sin square x. So, from this you can write e power 2x into cos x sin x minus cos x sin x getting cancelled. Then you have cos square x minus half minus plus sin square x. So, this is 1. So, you will have e power 2x which is not equal to 0. Ranskian is e power 2x. Now, we have to find out a of x value. So, a of x is equal we have minus integral v r dx by w of x. So, what is the v you have? Minus minus v is equal to you have e power x into sin x. Next, r is equal to e power x into tan x divided by r is equal to e power x into tan x from the problem right side of f of d into y. Okay. Now, w of x is equal to e power 2x into dx. Friends, you see numerator e power x into e power x. So, e power 2x. So, numerator and denominator getting cancelled. Right. Next here you have a sin x into tan x, product of the two functions in the integration. U v rule you cannot apply because both are integral formulas. So, sin x you write in sin x, tan x can you write in uh, sin terms? Yes. So, what is the sin x, uh, tan x you can write sin x by cosine x into dx. But in this case, this is again a u by v rule type. Okay, numerator and denominator is there. But uh, sin x into sin x, sin square x into cos x only. So, how you can solve this problem? Numerator, whenever a numerator and denominator is there, then we have to recall the formula integral of f dash of x by f of x into dx is equal to log of f of x. Friends, if the denominator derivative in the numerator, then we will write log of denominator. But cos x is there in the denominator. Cos x derivative is minus sin x. Is there? No. Sin square x is there. So, we cannot apply this formula. So, you have to go for any other formulas. Means, we have to change the numerator in terms of the denominator. So, what are the formulas we have? Sin square x is equal to, we have two formulas. First formula, 1 minus cos square x. And the second formula, 1 minus cos 2x by 2. But in the denominator, you have a cos x only. So, first formula is better to take. Second formula, we have a cos 2x. So, cos 2x and cos get not getting cancelled. These are getting cancelled. So, in this case, I can write the numerator as 1 minus cos square x by cos x. Yes or no? So, this is, I can divide a minus b by c is nothing but a by b. a by b means 1 by cosine. 1 by cosine is nothing but secant x minus cos square and this cos getting cancelled. Then, you will have cos x into dx. Now, integral of uh, secant x is, we have log of uh, secant x minus uh, integral of 1 by, uh, this is secant x, log of secant x plus uh, we will write tan x. Yes or no? This is the integral of secant x minus 
cos x integration just sin x only so this is sin x but here you see friends outside you have a minus sign so minus 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 so this is minus then this will be become sin x minus log of secant x plus tan x next we have to find out the b of x now we got a of x now this is the value of a of x now we have to find out b of x what is the b of x formula we have b of x is equal to integral u r dx by w of x so what is the u u is equal to i am writing already we have discussed previously u is equal to e power x into cos x and r of x is e power x into tan x by w of x we got e power 2x into dx now we have to simplify this right now you see friends numerator is containing e power x into e power x so e power 2x denominator and numerator getting cancelled next you have integral of cos x into tan x dx but uh, in the integrand if you are applied the integrand is containing both the trigonometric functions so you cannot integrate directly so what we have to do we have to convert into any other formula you see friends cos x you write down as a cos x tan x can you write in terms of cos yes how you can write this is sin by cosine x you can write so denominator cosine and numerator cosine getting cancelled then you will have integral of sin x dx what is the integral of sin here minus cos x okay now you have which value b of x what is the b of x here you have minus cos x so a value and b value you substitute in a particular integral okay then particular integral will be a of x means sin x minus log of secant x plus tan x okay into you have u of x is e power x into cos x right e power x into cos x plus b of x means minus cos x into e power x into sin x so friends you see here you have a sin x into e power x cos x here you have minus cosine x into e power x into sin x so these two are getting cancelled then you will have minus e power x into cos x into log of secant x plus tan x this is the particular integral hence the general solution is we have y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral that is y of x is equal to c1 e to the power of sorry e power x i will write out so c1 cos x plus c2 sin x into e to the power of x minus e power x into cos x into log of secant x plus tan x so is it clear for everyone right thank you for watching this video